So we're starting off with some portrait headshots. You can see on the right of the image, we've got the window light that's peeking through the car park. And I'm using that as my main light to illuminate it from the front. And then in the background, what I've got is my flash set up on a light stand with a blue colored gel, and that's gonna be my backlight. The first photo, I position the light so that we can actually see the light beaming directly at the camera. For the second photo, I decided to make sure that the light is directly behind her. So you can't actually see the light source itself, but it's creating a nice blue outline on her hair and her body as well. Now for posing a subject in front of camera, I decided to make her turn side on. I also tell her to put her hair just in front of her left shoulder as well. Now you can see here I'm repositioning the light so that it's changing from backlit photo to actually have some colored side lighting. And you can see the pose that I'm getting her to do is pushing her hair back with her left hand. And this is the final image. You can see the difference that putting her arm up makes to the image. It actually blocks some of the light out and makes it more of a feature. Whereas if she had her hand right by her side, then it's more of a strong effect. Now, sometimes the simplest things can completely change the look of your photos. So that's why I decided to reposition the light on her right side. And in terms of posing, I make sure that she shifts her weight to her back leg. So I tell her to lift her left foot up a little bit and then bring her left foot forward. Now it's a very subtle difference to the photos, but you can see it makes the photos just look a slight bit better. Now in this second photo here, you can see the huge difference that it will actually make when you reposition the light. Now we move to a slightly different spot. I get her to put her right hand just on the rail next to her and then stroke her left hand through her hair. Now you see it's a fairly common thing I get the models to do is I get them to shift all their weight to their back leg and then lean their front leg forward. After getting the pose right, I always make sure that I make very subtle changes to the photo. So what I do here is I get her to put her left hand on the edge of her hip and now already it's a completely new pose that we can take a photo of. At some stage or another throughout the photo shoot, I always make sure that I incorporate movement into my photos, so I get her to walk slowly towards the camera. I decided to slightly change up the location, so I get her to stand in the middle of the car park and then I use the leading lines on the roof as a backdrop. And again, I'm just getting her to make very subtle changes to her poses, for example, doing an over the shoulder shot or putting her left hand on her hip as you see in these photos. I decided to mix it up a bit and then switch to my 14 to 24 millimeter lens to get some really wide angle perspectives. And using a wide angle lens creates some really nice environmental portraits. And I'm making sure that she stops walking before the harsh sunlight hits her, so she's just staying in the shadows. Now in this location, there's so many different things I can use. Make sure that when you're taking photos, you're always aware of your surroundings. So I notice that there's a railing right next to her. So I can get her to lean one of her hands on the rail. And we can completely change up the pose by getting her just to rotate her body and lean both arms over the rail. And again, switching up the image, we can get her to face her back towards the rail and get a completely new perspective. In this next photo, I was shooting with a car, so I wanted to use the car as a reflection to get some of the buildings in the background in the shot. You'll see I'm pretty consistent with my lighting setups. I often have my flash in the background to use as a backlight. So I got tired of using the half sunlight, so I go downstairs again and then I set up my flash and I put a red gel onto my flash so that we get a nice red backlit photo. And again for this photo, I'm making sure that I use the ambient light to illuminate her from the front. Got some really cool shots, got some backlit portrait headshots, also got some full outfit shots with the wide angle lens that I'm shooting on now. When you get to the end of the photo shoot and you pull up your photos, you'll be so much happier that you've got a lot more variety in terms of posing. For example, putting her hair in front of her left shoulder, putting her hair in front of her right shoulder, putting it in front of both shoulders, putting it behind her back, getting her to stand side on, front on, over the shoulder. There's a huge amount of options that you have to choose from. This will make yourself happier as well as your model as well.